So today I have something interesting to share with you guys. So uh, take a look at it. This is my Xiaomi router MI3. So and this is my one terabyte external hard drive. So so let's take a look into this and what we can do. Just it has a USB port on the back of the device. So I'll just plug it in and show you guys on the other side i have always wanted to have a nas on my network so nas means a network attached storage so which storage can be accessed from anywhere of the network uh, for example if you're connected via the lan port or via the wi-fi so for to have a nas i um, the first plan was that i thought i was gonna make one out of raspberry pi but Ah, I was so lazy for that, I guess, and then I couldn't do it. Now, I have been using this MI router tree for uh, over two years now, but I haven't just poked around it yet. But uh, recently, my friend installed me the Padawan operating system on my router, which is a Padawan firmware that runs natively on asus and some other uh, devices but in the xiaomi it also works and the xiaomi router has 128 gigs of sorry 128 megabytes of ram and uh, 580 megahertz of processor so it's a mid-range and low-end processor which can handle regular tests like file handling and stuff so I have found this way to just uh, attaching my hard drive with the router I can simply make it as a FTP server so uh, here's a thing called AI desk and if you just go set up I have already done setup if you just go set up okay I'll do it again so set again just use uh, limitless access right you're gonna have admin access right which will ask for a password limited access right which will add for users and stuff because um, uh, I use it alone this network or my family people uses it so it's not my uh, priority to have a password and protected area for this uh, drive and which is which should be a common use and then I will skip the Asus DNS setting because it's not Asus router and I am not I don't have an Asus account or something like that so and then it's set up once it's done set up you can go to the network map and go to the hard drive here you can see the details about your hard drive and stuff then there is a FTP link if you click it it will show you the FTP link uh see my F, my drive name is meh so i'm I, i'm gonna try to see if i attach a hub there usb hub and see if i could attach multiple drives in there so here's i have made a folder called name transmission because it is required to have some other functionalities i will be showing you right after i talk about it so if you go over to usb application of the of the router setting my need fact again that it only works if you have installed Padawan and there is a lot of tutorials how you can install Padawan on your Xiaomi router so I enable this SMB server making it work group just by default FTP server is enabled by the AI desk setup and media server I have enabled the media server and in the media server I have put a my media file source path which is media slash meh media means whatever the device is attached to it meh my uh, drive name and transmission is a folder that is required just know that it's required for transmission i'll be telling you about transmission and then slash downloads and the rebuild database is like i have just added append new media files so basically it will not make it from scratch it will just add new files to the folder and if we just well if you put it here and go for a scanning we scan so it will scan it then if you go to the web servers uh, you will find multiple different stuff here zero 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 whatever, whatever. it doesn't matter now in the torrent transmission that's the important button the torrent transmission enable it apply when you apply go to the web control 
if you go to the web control you can see that there are multiple uh, it's look like a standard torrent client it's more like a uh, uTorrent or BitTorrent so from here you can add torrents like if you have a torrent file downloaded or if you have a man magnet URL you just pu paste the magnet URL here or add a torrent file so from it you can download torrents so uh, and this is important because the torrent file will be downloaded in transmission and downloads here that I have downloaded for torrents and this way this transmission is a, a software that allows you to download torrent and if you are using torrent bd or some other server that requires you to seed it and for which you have to turn on your computer for a long time which consumes a lot of power in the other sense this router can handle it for you and you will always be having a connection to the server and the file system that will be updating it and if someone's need uh, your torrent to be downloaded then they can download and you can see it so this makes the life a lot easier for torrent downloaders so here's another thing that you can do uh, because I we have set up the uh, set up the server in different way which has no access right so if I go to my networks if you are using a Mac and go to mi3 and wait for it wait for it wait for it I'll have to wait Let's wait. Let's wait. Okay. Uh, basically, here's a drive comes out. So I'll just give it a connection. Okay. Connection failed. Connection failed. I don't know why it's happening right now. But uh, I'll try it later, I guess. So I have to fix this and be anyway. So you will be seeing the drive here and you can access the drive from the uh, computer if you are win using Windows try go to your network and do the same thing and find the drive and in that way you can directly access the drive and in this way you don't have to turn on your computer or keep the computer uh, open and running for downloading torrents uh, it's easier to download and I am very much helpful and I'm very much hoping that uh, it will help you in your journey and make your life easier and saves you some pain and hopefully uh, if you require anything else just ask me in the comment section and I'll be happy to reply you over there other than that if you are looking for how you can install Padawan on your Xiaomi router or whatever the router try search it down in the web and try uh, youtube because there are a lot of contents on that but i try to dedicate this particular problem that solved me and helps me the most so that's about it till the next one take care bye bye